Chilean cherries, juicy, sweet, and above all, red, intensely red. In China, it's believed the color brings good luck, especially when marking the Chinese New Year next month, hence the insatiable demand. It's a tradition that's bringing good fortune here too. This is the largest production in history. Exports to China have allowed fruit producers to grow substantially all the way from central to southern Chile. This is the very last shipment of Chilean cherries, which will soon be going to the port of San Antonio to board a ship with a thousand containers of cherries, all going to China. More than 90% of this country's cherries are exported to that country for a very simple reason. No one pays more than the Chinese. China's appetite isn't limited to cherries. Other fruits, meat, and grains that it can't produce at home have given South America a $23 billion trade surplus in food. Largely with Chile, Brazil, and Argentina. In less than two decades, trade has increased 22 times, making China the number one importer of Latin American commodities. This presents a problem and an opportunity, says the UN Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean. Latin American countries have been talking to the Chinese about this. I mean, welcome to invest in Latin America if you want to, welcome to increase our trading uh, patterns, but let's move to areas of innovation and to provide value added. One of those areas is renewable energy, especially solar. Latin American leaders want China to become a partner in technology and science, not just an importer of raw materials. A goal they believe will make economic development in Latin America less reliant on good luck to improve the region's fortunes. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Los Lidios, Chile.